In projective geometry, Desargues' theorem, named after Gerard Desargues, states Two triangles are in perspective axially if and only if they are in perspective centrally, denote the three vertices of one triangle by A, B and C, and those of the other by A, B and C. Axial perspectivity means that lines AB and AB meet in a point, lines AC and AC meet in a second point, and lines BC and BC meet in a third point, and that these three points all lie on a common line called the axis of perspectivity. Central perspectivity means that the three lines AA, B flat and CC are concurrent, at a point called the center of perspectivity. This intersection theorem is true in the usual Euclidean plane but special care needs to be taken in exceptional cases, as when a pair of sides are parallel, so that their point of intersection recedes to infinity. Commonly, to remove these exceptions, mathematicians complete the Euclidean plane by adding points at infinity following Jean Victor Poncelet. This results in a projective plane. De Sargues' theorem is true for the real projective plane, for any projective space defined arithmetically from a field or division ring, for any projective space of dimension unequal to 2, and for any projective space in which Pappus's theorem holds. However, there are some non-Desargesian planes in which De Sargues' theorem is false. History De Sargues never published this theorem, but it appeared in an appendix entitled Universal Method of M. De Sargues for Using Perspective Manier Universelle de M. De Sargues pour Practica la Perspective of a practical book on the use of perspective published in 1648 by his friend and pupil Abraham Boss 1602 <laughs> <laughs> Projective versus affine spaces In an affine space such as the Euclidean plane a similar statement is true, but only if one lists various exceptions involving parallel lines. De Sargues' theorem is therefore one of the simplest geometric theorems whose natural home is in projective rather than affine space. <laughs> <laughs> Self-duality By definition, two triangles are perspective if and only if they are in perspective centrally or, equivalently according to this theorem, in perspective axially. Note that perspective triangles need not be similar. Under the standard duality of plane projective geometry where points correspond to lines and collinearity of points corresponds to concurrency of lines, the statement of de Sargues' theorem is self-dual, axial perspectivity is translated into central perspectivity and vice versa. The de Sargues configuration below is a self-dual configuration. Topic. Proof of de Sargues' theorem De Sargues' theorem holds for projective space of any dimension over any field or division ring, and also holds for abstract projective spaces of dimension at least three. In dimension two the planes for which it holds are called de Sargesian planes and are the same as the planes that can be given coordinates over a division ring. There are also many non-de Sargesian planes where de Sargues' theorem does not hold. Three-dimensional proof De Sargues' theorem is true for any projective space of dimension at least three, and more generally for any projective space that can be embedded in a space of dimension at least three. De Sargues' theorem can be stated as follows. If lines AA, B flat and CC are concurrent meet at a point, then the points AB AB, AC AC and BC BC are collinear, the points A, B, A and B are coplanar lie in the same plane because of the assumed concurrency of AA and B flat. Therefore, the lines AB and AB belong to the same plane and must intersect. Further, if the two triangles lie on different planes, then the point AB AB belongs to both planes. By a symmetric argument, the points AC AC and BC BC also exist and belong to the planes of both triangles. Since these two planes intersect in more than one point, their intersection is a line that contains all three points. This proves de Sargues' theorem if the two triangles are not contained in the same plane. If they are in the same plane, de Sargues' theorem can be proved by choosing a point not in the plane, using this to lift the triangles out of the plane so that the argument above works, and then projecting back into the plane. The last step of the proof fails if the projective space has dimension less than three, as in this case it may not be possible to find a point outside the plane. Monge's theorem also asserts that three points lie on a line, and has a proof using the same idea of considering it in three rather than two dimensions and writing the line as an intersection of two planes. <laughs> Two-dimensional proof As there are non-de Sargesian projective planes in which de Sargues' theorem is not true, some extra conditions need to be met in order to prove it. 
These conditions usually take the form of assuming the existence of sufficiently many collineations of a certain type, which in turn leads to showing that the underlying algebraic coordinate system must be a division ring skewfield. Topic relation to Pappus's theorem Pappus's hexagon theorem states that, if a hexagon ABC ABC is drawn in such a way that vertices A, B and C lie on a line and vertices A, B and C lie on a second line, then each two opposite sides of the hexagon lie on two lines that meet in a point and the three points constructed in this way are collinear. A plane in which Pappus's theorem is universally true is called Papian. Hessenberg showed that de Sargue's theorem can be deduced from three applications of Pappus's theorem. The converse of this result is not true, that is, not all de Sargasian planes are Papian. Satisfying Pappus's theorem universally is equivalent to having the underlying coordinate system be commutative. A plane defined over a non-commutative division ring, a division ring that is not a field, would therefore be de Sargasian but not Papian. However, due to Wedderburn's little theorem, which states that all finite division rings are fields, all finite de Sargasian planes are Papian. There is no known completely geometric proof of this fact, although Bamberg and Pentilla 2015 give a proof that uses only elementary algebraic facts rather than the full strength of Wedderburn's little theorem. Topic: The de Sargs configuration. The 10 lines involved in de Sargs theorem, six sides of triangles, the three lines AA, B flat and CC and the axis of perspectivity and the 10 points involved, the six vertices, the three points of intersection on the axis of perspectivity and the center of perspectivity are so arranged that each of the 10 lines passes through three of the 10 points and each of the 10 points lies on three of the 10 lines. Those 10 points and 10 lines make up the de Sargs configuration, an example of a projective configuration. Although de Sargs theorem chooses different roles for these 10 lines and points, the de Sargs configuration itself is more symmetric, any of the 10 points may be chosen to be the center of perspectivity, and that choice determines which six points will be the vertices of triangles and which line will be the axis of perspectivity. See also Pascal's theorem Notes